What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, we are currently sitting in the 335 IS, not the F80. We've been building this car like crazy. Guys, we've came so far with this thing. So far, I mean, honestly, we just have an airbag light right now, and then probably just have a, a, a couple of other little things that we're pretty much complete with this build. As far as like the whole rebuild situation, we still have a bunch of mods coming in, and I cannot wait to put all those on. It's just gonna look insane. And before I actually get into the topic of today's video, I do wanna also mention the E36 M3. That build is getting very, very 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 expensive track car builds or whatever um even if i'm just trying to build like a gutted race car or whatever with that i don't really know what my goals are for that car exactly um but it's just getting very 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 expensive the manual swap obviously has to all come out of pocket you have to source all these parts it's a very time consuming labor uh, for like bucket seats and stuff like that like if you guys order bucket seats you don't really think about it but you need to get a seat rail and then once you get a seat rail you're gonna also need to get seat harnesses and once you get a seat harness you also need to get a cage to mount it to so we're talking like a five thousand dollar setup just to get some sparko seats in that car so it's very 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 expensive very 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 time consuming and uh, i just think like as of right now we're going to hold off on that project for now because i want to focus on other builds i want to get some new things on the channel i want to spice it up so that's what we're pretty much going to be doing in this video we're going to be heading down to copart and just see what kind of builds they got going on right now copart's been a little dry i'm not going to lie but they did get one car that's absolutely insane we can't actually afford it right now i'm not going to lie you guys will see it in a little bit it is crazy i cannot believe this car is already at Copart, but I mean, Copart has been so dry. I haven't really found anything good in the past couple months, honestly. Like, if I would have, I would have bought it, but I, I honestly can't find anything. But I'm gonna be taking you guys to Copart to show you guys some new builds that we've never done before. I think I'm gonna try to look at four different cars. I know we've never actually built like any Z4s, uh, E60 properly, like a uh, E70 uh, uh, X5, or even X4s, or even M6s, or M5s. We've never done any of those cars on this channel, and I really, really, really want to tap into all those cars and just try every single car because that's exciting to think about what I do and that's what actually that and that's the reason I got into rebuilding is to try a bunch of different BMWs that's like what my primary goal of this YouTube channel was is to save a bunch of different BMWs get to experience every single driving machine BMWs ever created that's pretty much the main goal of my channel and that's what I grow passionate to do so anywho we're gonna be heading down to Copart right now checking out a few builds let me know if any of those cars you guys want me to cut for this channel to rebuild and if not those in particular what kind of builds you guys want to see on this channel in the near future so without further ado I'll catch y'all at Copart We just arrived at Copart. Sorry for the echo. This thing has just too much metal now. <laughs> but yeah, we arrived at Copart. We are seeing ourselves a G80, a Z4, a 5 Series, and I believe an M6. So a lot of variety. Let me know what type of car you guys want to see on this channel getting rebuilt in the near future. As for the G80, it is a little pricey. I would have to sell my F80 to get a G80 from Copart because totaled ones are going for around $50,000, but this one in particular is going for around $38,000, and I think it's a very desirable spec. So that's why we're checking it out. It's actually going on auction tomorrow, so I just, I'm just very curious. The rest of them are very, very, very high possibility builds. So again, stay tuned. We are heading in. I am so stoked. So getting to the back of Copart, guys, I saw this M6. This is the one I saw online. Honestly, the pictures didn't look this bad. And uh, that's why I always recommend people checking out cars in person before actually buying online because I looked at the bottom and as you guys can see, like the subframes damage, um, where it actually mounts is damaged, which just looks like a crazy amount of work. Um, the, you know, the B pillar, A pillars, those are all bent. That's all fine. But also top of the stuff on top of the engine are all cracked and stuff like that. So it does look like a lot of money. It does look like a build that may just be too much or not really worth saving to be honest it's probably better as a parts car but yeah I, i'm just checking out every single possible angle to see if there's a possibility we should get this car but honestly guys it just looks like too big of a mess but if you guys check out the interior like this is a super nice and premium interior never been in the m6 before so you know your boy had to sit down and just check it out but um yeah guys look at this car from the interior i love the two-tone red and black leather the dashboard is extended leather as well i'm a sucker for extended 
thin leather, as you guys know. Um, and it's just a whole completely different experience when you guys sit inside this car. It's different than an M5, it's different than an M3, it's different than an M4. And that's what I like about BMWs is that every single M car is completely different. And that's what I also like about trying these new different kinds of cars. At this point, we are going off to check the G80, guys. I cannot believe our Sacramento Copart, which is one right next to us. Um, if you guys want to check it out as well, it is the Sacramento Copart. And uh, they have this G80. I think it's like a Narder gray. I don't know what kind of gray it is, but it's a super beautiful gray. Um, the rear end was absolutely perfect. I tried to check in every single angle because in a car like this, you do want to make sure that everything um, is, you know, in tip top shape other than the actual damage. So you can do proper calculations because the odds are you're probably not going to find parts for this car anywhere. You would have to go to BMW to get all these parts. So in the trunk, thankfully, there, it, there was all the parts um, for like for the most part. Coming into the driver's seat, guys, this car is absolutely stunning. The interior is gorgeous. I love what BMW, the direction they went with with this car. The leather just felt super premium and the door panels felt amazing. I love the door handles too. You feel like a Huracan uh, door handles. Um, yeah, like I said, everything was gorgeous with this car. The only thing I, I would have I wanted in a car like this, if I was to buy it, I would have loved an extended leather dashboard, but it was the manual, it was the four door, it had the beautiful blue seats. I mean, maybe the carbon seats would have been, you know, probably a little better, but um, the carbon seats are really hard to fit into. So, anywho, come to check out the damage, guys. If you guys check it out, we do have some like actual like frame damage. Um, nothing too crazy though like everything i believe that can actually be fixed pulled out something like this is actually not as bad um if you guys saw the m6 a little bit earlier ago that m6 was just too far um in there this side all the damage is pretty much focused on the right side or technically the the driver's side um and you know you can reference the passenger side for all the repairs so that's pretty convenient um it is a i believe a startup vehicle um but uh obviously I don't think you guys can start it up at the current condition. So any of the next car is a E60. I just wanted to honestly just check out this E60 because for the money, I think they're asking like a thousand dollars or something, maybe eight hundred dollars, and you get this beautiful like brown interior. Um, the damage wasn't that bad. It's an N54. Not a huge fan of it, but I really wanted to again try out the E60 chassis because I never got to really drive one and experience one. Um, but yeah, this has the brown leather. All um, E60s come with the navigation, um, and the, the seats are way better than the E90s. So again i just wanted to check this thing out i was possibly thinking about doing some kind of crazy build on it um at least a rebuild nothing crazy but like a rebuild but a proper one at the same time make it like a super clean m sport or something so i have some pretty crazy ideas i would want to do to an e60 um so we, we you know we checked this one out the canisters i don't know if you guys just saw it the canisters are angled in a really weird way there was oil literally everywhere in the engine bay those hoses i don't know if those looked right um, the hoses seem like they were pushed back and the damage didn't look that bad. But anyway, the car started up just fine, surprisingly. Um, no weird sounds until I actually got outside the car. Then I heard some scraping sounds. And then, uh, yeah, check this out, guys. Now that smoke can literally be anything. It could be literally coolant, oil, whatever. Um, but I mean, at this point, you know, it started up, that's that's good enough for me. Uh, so we pretty much started looking at the Z4 next. The Z4 had undercarriage damage, but it didn't look too bad, honestly. Uh, I, I, you know, from the looks of it, everything looked pretty good. The gaps on everything looked really good, to be honest. And for the money, again, this one was a $1,200 Z4, which is pretty sick to find, because nowadays, I don't know if you guys know, but Z4s went up a lot in value. Uh, this one is, unfortunately, uh, the E46 engine, um, not the uh, E chassis engines like the N52, which has that sole of warranty, or the N52. Which would have been pretty crazy. I'm not, not a huge N54 fan, but an N54 and a Z4 would be pretty dang sick. So the interior is actually in really good shape. Again, the whole car from rear end to front, all the panels, um, everything actually looked really, really, really good. So I was really hoping that this was gonna be a pretty solid purchase for $1,200. Um, so I got inside the car, popped the hood, and uh, you know, gotta inspect the engine bay just to double check everything's gravy in the Navy. And honestly, to my surprise, guys, everything was looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. So um, I did have him go ahead and jump it just so we can actually hear if everything is good with this motor. I don't know if it was a startup or not, but it had undercarriage damage. So I just wanted to make sure if it was a startup. These engines are really cheap. Like if you had to replace them, we're probably talking like two, three hundred dollars. Nothing too crazy. So uh, we just want to go ahead and just see if it started up anyways, because that'd be a pretty good score for again twelve hundred dollars for. Z4. These cars are going for around like 5k nowadays. Um, so yeah, getting inside the car, giving it its first startup. Uh, fingers were crossed at the moment, but uh, yeah, hear it out, hear it out, guys.
And that leads us back to our office, guys. So yeah, those are the couple cars we checked out. I know we pretty much checked out like two pretty much premium cars, the M6 and the M3 G80. Um, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cars. Honestly, I'm really starting to fall in love with the M6s. I love the coupes a lot more for the M6s and the, the G80s. Obviously, I love the M3s. Um, way, way, way more than the M4s. In my personal opinion, I just I had an M4, I had an E92 M3, and I kind of, I think I kind of got off the whole coupe fever, and I'm leaning more towards uh, the four doors because the four doors just look super good on the M3s. I love the hips, and it just looks super awesome. Any hizzles, that car as of right now is way out of the budget, unfortunately, but it was definitely a really cool car to see at Copart. And it's definitely gonna be a car to be building on this channel in the near future. And as far as the other cars, honestly, the M6 was something I was really, really, really hoping was gonna be a pretty good find, but unfortunately, that the car just looks too whack. And then as far as the E60, um, it's not too bad. It is smoking. It does look like it has a bunch of little issues all over the place. Maybe it could be the next 7 Series, uh, you know, which I don't really want exactly. And then as far as the Z4, it, I thought it was a turnover. It wasn't a turnover. So, um, again, these cars are just potential cars that I'm looking at. I'm even looking at X5s, I'm looking at Z4s, X5s, X4s, M5s, M6s, 6 Series, 5 Series. Those are cars I'm kind of targeting, hopefully, in the near future, even M2s and the 2 Series. So let me know down below which cars you guys want to see next in the near future but without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out